Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for Tensura. Logo review. Now, you already know the YouTuber things, but if you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshes. Links in the description below. And if you want to check out any of my other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to the playlist. Though I don't just do reactions for this series, I do reactions for a ton of others, and you can find those in the playlists on the channel. Previously on Tensudo, we saw meetings, and uh, they talked about how they were going to have some more meetings, and... When they finished up the meeting, they said, let's go to this meeting. And so they're going to a meeting. And we also have the army of Tempest meeting in battle, the army of Clayman. And uh, that meeting will go whatever way that it goes. Then we also have Yume meeting with the people in Falmouth to find out how that whole situation is going to take place. Diablo is going with him. So um, let's hopefully get into this next meeting as last episode's meeting was not Rimuru, well, <laughs> it was kind of Rimuru focused, but it didn't include Rimuru. So it was actually Guy Crimson, who was this like red haired demon lord, and he was meeting with Leon, who was this like, he's the dude that brought uh, Shizue, Shizu yeah, Shizue to this world. So this dude is definitely a bad guy and I would love for Rimuru to clap his ass. Maybe in the meeting that they have, which is the Walpurgis, that will probably last a couple of episodes um, before we get another meeting. And let's go check out what this meeting is going to be. I mean, what this episode is going to be. By the way, if you couldn't tell, I am memeing on the meeting thing, okay? So <laughs> I understand that a lot of this series involves meetings and that's fine. I do enjoy the series regardless, okay? So before you get in the comments, you know what, actually get in the comments. That just means one more comment goes towards that algorithm. So you can flame me, say whatever you want, man. Drop a comment down below. I would appreciate it. Like the video as well. Let's get into it. Dry ass. What is this? Why is dry ass there? Oh, and this how he made Beretta? Oh, oh, trainee is a dry ass. Oh, I thought they were called dryads. What is this? She evolved into a a, a dryas doll dryad. Why though? Oh, cause she needed to leave the forest. Maybe is that way she could actually. Leave? I don't know, man. I don't understand like the lore entirely. So yeah, I'm, I'm just probably over here looking stupid. Oh, yeah, okay, so it's because she couldn't leave the forest previously. Oh, okay, so I was right. Never mind. I understand. Uh, okay. Let's go, trainee! Hey, <laughs> she like a little fairy floating around. Let's go! Meeting time! <laughs> OP. Oh, damn, I'm out of water. I hate my life. Mmm... Come on, bro. Ooh. That's broken. Listen, she scares Benny Maru. She got to be pretty strong. Okay, she scares the shit out of Benny Maru. <laughs> so, this man so just appears out of nowhere, man. I love it. Yeah, we're all angry. Err. Yeah. Let's go. Clayman's gonna get freaking shh on. Let's go. Ah, that's so sick. Forward into battle, march. Damn, hella. Ooh, a fire. They're gonna eliminate the ice dickhead? Let's go. <laughs> Wait, is the leader the ice dickhead or is it um one of the clowns? Let's go. 
Battle episode? Let's go, please. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? That's sick. That's sick, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's go. Ninjas. Let's go. The goblins. They are doing really well. Was that how quick this whole little battle was? Okay, I was about to say, bro. Y'all ain't about to fucking just tease me like that. I want some action. I don't know how many times I've called Gabi to Gabi Maru, bro. <laughs> I always combine him with fucking Benny Maru, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Strategy wins. Being smart wins. <laughs> Brother. But why though? You don't even like these motherfuckers. Oh, he's taking on the clowns. These guys are fucking annoying. Oh my god. Yeah, you're damn right he's fast. Cut off his dick. Let's go, Geld. Oh, I didn't know Geld was gonna be here too. Oh, my dog. Let's go. Oh, my God. That's sick. Ooh, we kind of strong, though. Oh, I love Geld. He's so cool. Jesus. No, you're going to get stopped by the lizard lady right now. Yes. Kick his ass. Dead. They're all dead. Let's go. Oh, that's kind of cool. Bagana. What could it possibly be? Well, look who it is. Oh, I thought she was gonna turn around with a little tongue out. <laughs> you imagine that would have been hilarious, man. Big old snake booty. Ugh. I don't like the way she's moving. She's supposed to slither her way in there. This shit gonna end before we even get a battle, bro. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Or not! I lied! Let's go! Oh my wa mushinderu. Or not, okay. I thought she was gonna do some sort of like doom. Yo, can Gota please fight this dude? That would be even sicker. I would love to see him fucking fuck these guys up. Oh, oh, the Ranga Riders. <laughs> I don't know what they're actually called. They're like the uh, something wolf riders, man. I don't remember. The Goblin Riders, right? I don't I forgot what the group is called. You think Gota's weak? Brother, you don't even understand. Weak my cheeks. Only thing weak about my man is when he's been around for seven days. Because that's one week. That wasn't even good. That was a bad pun. I'm, that wasn't even... Eh, it wasn't that clever. That was pretty shitty. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> he's like, wait, 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 wait. I gotta know how to fight this battle. Uh, I like Govta, dude. He's cool. Even though sometimes he is like... 
He doesn't read the room, you know? Now the episode's gonna end. Great, cool, awesome. Overall, pretty interesting episode. This one was just a meeting of two armies, not an actual meeting where they discuss things. Even though it did look like Benny Maru sort of had a meeting with it. I'll stop with the meeting thing. I'm just kidding, okay? So this episode was pretty good. This one really was a setup for the battle between the Tempest army and Clayman's army. And also it brought about a new plan, which is Hakuro, Soe, and Shuna going to Clayman's castle to take that shit apart. And this whole thing is happening like, I believe on the day of or the day before, can't remember exactly what Rimu said, but it was either on the day of or the day before the Walpurgis. So that's when all this stuff is taking place. Pretty much we found out that Benny Maru's new ability is he's like a, the ultimate commander. He's like the ultimate tech. I, don't, I forgot what it is. I think it was called good leader, great skill good leader. <laughs> but basically he knows the plans and the movements of his enemies. So that's really dope. And I love the fact that he set up this whole plan and everything that drew the Clayman's, drew Clayman's army into this trap that the orcs have set. They drop the like earth underneath, underneath them and they just all fall down and they have different measures to keep them down and basically destroy this army, bro. It is so one-sided. It is insane. The three Beasketeers go off on their own with assistance from um, one member or like their team from the Tempest Army. So we've got, listen, I'm super bad with names, okay? Don't judge me. So we've got the one wolf cat lady. She's got the uh, dragon newts with her. And then we've got the other wolf baby guy and he has geld with him and then we've got the the, the serpent lady and she has gobta with her and so it makes it a slightly more fair fight just because they don't really need the additional help so much as they well they actually they might need the help I think that the, the snake lady did not need the additional help. She could have taken on the one dude on her own, but obviously he's a fucking cheater. He sucks. I can't wait for him to fucking die. It's gonna be so awesome. But when he does die, I want it to be really slow and painful or again, insignificant. That would be beautiful as well. But yeah, he does some cheat shit and Gopta comes out of nowhere, stops that from happening. Gopta's like, hey, you guys keep fighting. I'll be like refereeing, make sure you're making sure like nobody comes in. You guys are 1v1ing. And then with the Geld one, it's Geld and that the, the, the one guy and they are taking on two of those clowns. So that's going to be pretty dope. And then of course we've got the one wolf or cat lady. I, I think she's like a cheetah. I don't know, but her, she's taking on some of those dragon, the dragon worshipers, like the ball dude gets super angry and then his friend. So I'm really interested in seeing what happens there because I feel like that battle is fairly pointless as you know, Melim is under control and I, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see how that whole thing plays out. But I am, I'm very intrigued to see those main battles and what is Benny Maru's plans going forward? Does he have like a follow-up to the fact that they're just destroying the army? Also, I really wanna see Soe, Hakuro and Shuna go into that castle fucking burn it to the ground. Clayman has the ability to affect people's minds, but he can't affect their minds because um, Kijin or Kajin, I don't remember what it's called, their minds aren't easily affected. So they are going to rescue Carrion, and I would love to see that. And then of course the Walpurgis should also be happening soon. Maybe the Walpurgis will start at the end of next episode, but I am interested, man. I know I'm, I've am i been like memeing about the fucking meetings and shit and just like, I, I'm not serious. I understand that a lot of this is world building, set up politics and meetings. That's okay. I'm, I've only been fucking around with you guys. Like relax. From here, I wanna know what you thought about this episode. How do you think these battles are gonna go? I low key kind of want to see the one bald dragon worshiper guy pop off. Like I, I kind of want to see that. I'm just like worried that it will be at the expense of, of course, Gabiru, as well as the one Beasketeer lady whose name I don't, I don't know any of their names, bro. I'm so bad with names. The only reason I remember the Tempest people's names is because it's just been going for so damn long with them specifically. And I've basically been saying their names for two whole, three whole anime seasons now, uh, because we got that part one of season two, and then we got Slime Diaries, and now we've got part two of season two. So those are sort of like ingrained in my fucking thought process at this point. But again, I would love to know what you all think of this going forward. And if you have any sort of predictions for the battle, I would love to know that as well. Though, of course, if you know what's going to happen because, you know, you've read the light novel or the manga, then 
Don't spoil anything in the comments, please. If you have something to say that would contain a spoiler, please use a spoiler tag. And what I mean by that is in a very brief sentence in quotes, address what you'll be talking about with your spoilers, skip a line, type the word spoilers, skip six lines, type out your spoiler comment. And what everyone's gonna see is that very brief sentence with no spoilers in it, addressing what your spoilers will be about. They'll see the word spoilers and then they'll see read more. They click read more, they can see your spoilers. If they don't click read more, they won't get spoiled. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.